Hello everybody, it is Tara Incognita here, your Monday host for Starting Out Solitary, and this week we are talking all about the elements. Okay, the elements is a really, really, really broad topic, and I do not want this video to take all day. So, um, what I've kind of decided to do is break it up, and I'm just going to do like an introduction here on this channel, and I am going to follow it up on my personal channel with some additional information if you want to continue on. Um, but basically, what I decided to do is to approach this from a very basic level. This is a new channel for new witches and, um, you know, or even seasoned witches who kind of want to take it back to the beginning. You know what I mean? Um, and I always think it's good in anything to revisit the basics because it's easy to forget. You get so into what you're doing um, and get, you know, as you advance in your practice, it is easy to forget the simple things that you started with. So, um, when we're talking about the elements, we are talking about, well, we can be talking about, I like to think about it this way, the witch's pyramid. So that's what I mean when I say we're starting at the basics. I'm taking you all the way back to the main principles of being a witch. Um, now this book, I'm sure you recognize, is called The Inner Temple of Witchcraft by Christopher Penzak. Um, I started reading this book in the beginning of my practice, and I put it down. Uh, the reason for that is that I got overwhelmed. I was trying to turn it into a year and a day study, and it was a very unnatural pace. And with all the other things that I was learning about reading, watching online, it just... I lost interest in this. It overwhelmed me. It was going at a weird pace. I didn't like it. I put it down. I never picked it up again. And in the last few months, I've had a handful of people talk to me, message me on YouTube and Facebook and say, hey, have you read this? Hey, did you finish this? Hey, what did you think about this? Et cetera, et cetera. And um, most recently was our new subscriber, Jana Lynn. Hi, Jana Lynn. And so, yes, I'm reading it now. Um, but I just kind of... I took it to mean that spirit was calling to me to pick this book up again. So I did. I started this weekend and I'm already through chapter four. I'm not trying to split it up into a year and a day. I am just going to go at a pace that feels natural to me and get through it. So I may do some videos of this on my personal channel. I don't know. But, you know, yesterday while I was reading, I came across that pyramid and decided that this is the way that I want to approach the topic of the elements. So when you think about um, the principles of the being a witch, the four main pillars, they call it, it is to know, to dare, to will, to keep silent. And then the fifth element, some people call to go in this book, um, Christopher Penzak refers to it as the Wiccan read or, um, and it harm none, do as you will. That's what he says is the point of the pyramid. But basically when you have all four elements um, all four pieces working together, then it's going to connect with the higher spirit and what you want to manifest will. And um, the things that I want to point out is that, you know, when I first learned about this, I didn't see the pyramid with the elements. It was just the principles, the four principles of being um, a witch. And it was in a diff it was online or in a different book or something. I don't even remember. Um, so I didn't correlate it to the elements. And so basically, I just, I mean, I was always good in school because I could memorize and regurgitate, you know, spit it out verbatim. I never, I didn't have to stop and think about it. I could just memorize it. So when I was first learning all this material and taking it all in, it was the same thing. Um, memorize it, spit it back out kind of thing. Uh, I never really stopped to consider. And then probably, I don't know, four or six months into my path, I saw it with the elements. Um, it may have been in this book. It might have been in another book. But I really, it caught my attention. Um, and I noticed it more and I thought about it more. And it made more sense to me. Um, because the elements, 
I do think of myself as an elemental witch. I incorporate it into, you know, my spells, into my practice. When I think about things, I think about them in an elemental way. When I do spells, I incorporate the elemental correspondences. Um, and I have not done a deeper study of the elements. I did sign up for Season of the Seeker, but I had to drop it because of life stuff. But it seems like a good class, and if you're interested in an in-depth study, that would be one I would recommend. Uh, because Annie from Mirth and Reverence, she knows her stuff when it comes to the elements. But um, I do consider myself an elemental witch. And so it did. It caught my attention more when it started to correlate to that. But then it wasn't until maybe a year later that I noticed that the diagrams were different. So if you Google the Witch's Pyramid and you look at different pictures of it, they will assign the elements to different principles. Like the two, two different pyramids won't match. Um, and you can even, if you have it, if you have the diagram in books on your shelf, pull down three books that have the Witch's Pyramid and look at them. They probably don't match. And um, I attribute part of that to the fact that people take the principles at face value and they don't dig deeper. Um, like if you read this book, um, The Book of Shadows for the Solitary Witch by Silver Raven Wolf, there's a diagram in here and she takes it very face value. And some of the things she says um, kind of irk me and other things she does resonate with me. Um, but it seems to me that she takes that pyramid very much at face value, whereas um, in this book it seems to, to hit a deeper chord. And when I think about it, I kind of resonate with the diagram in this book more, the way they assign the elements to the um, four main principles. And so, um, you know, it really, you have to look at them and you have to challenge yourself to decide what is right for you. And even with the tarot, when you think about, oops, that's upside down. So you have earth, which is the pentacles, air, which is the swords, wands, which is fire, and cups, which is water. I had a hard time. If you've watched my divination videos, I didn't understand how fire could be wands and air could be swords. It seemed wrong to me. Um, but when I think about the Witch's Pyramid and the way that I assign the elements to the principles of the Witch's Pyramid, it really helped me correlate the fire with the wands and the air with the swords. So um, I am at seven and a half minutes now. I'm going to cut this video short here, and then I'm going to go more into depth about this on my personal channel, and I will link those videos below. Um, but, you know, you can either take this information from here and go on your own and kind of research it yourself, or you can hit my personal channel, and um, I'll break it up because I don't want you to have to sit through a half-hour long video. Anyway, I hope that gives you a different way of looking at it and a different starting point to kind of go from. And definitely watch the rest of the week because I know everybody's going to have a different opinion. And I do know there's a couple of people on this channel that did the season of the Seeker program or are doing it. And so they'll probably have um, more information for you. But I hope to see you over on my personal channel. Otherwise, I hope to see you next Monday back here. And um, yeah, if you have something to say, if you have an opinion, be sure to go to our Facebook page or comment below. If you have questions, ask them because this is a broad topic. And I'm sure we can get some really good conversations going. Anyway, blessed be.